Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on the game theory in operations research and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a look at the odds method also known as oddman's method used to solve any two cross two game without saddle point so in the previous video what we saw is the algebraic method which was again used on a two cross two game wherein we had a two cross two matrix which did not have a saddle point but then in that method we had certain algebraic formulas which we have to by heart and you have to directly apply them but there is one more method also known as odds method which we are going to be using in this video so let's see how this works because i find this one much more easier but obviously in the question if it is asked that you have to use algebraic method then then you don't have any option and you have to do that but if there is no such requirement that you can use any of the method i would prefer this method because it's much more simpler so let's see how this works so for any two cross two game without saddle point having a payoff matrix as follows so you can see we have a payoff matrix player a who has his two strategies a1 and a2 we have b1 and b2 for player b so the steps involved are as follows what you have to do is you have to subtract the two digits in the first column and write the difference under the second column ignoring the sign so you have to do a11 minus a12 and you have to write it over here so a11 minus a12 write it over here this is for the rows then you have to do the same for a21 and a22 and write it over here so in a criss cross pattern so this is a22 minus a21 and you have to ignore the signs i'll talk about that when we see the numerical similarly you have to do the same for the columns so a11 minus a21 and write it over here so a11 minus a21 and a12 minus a22 and write it over here so a12 minus a22 would come over here so these are something which is known as oddments so this is what is step number 1 2 and 3 so these values are called oddments as i mentioned and they are the frequencies with which the player must use their course of action in the optimum strategies okay so that's the frequency count so we'll understand that when we actually solve the numerical and we'll also see how to calculate the game value that is the value of the game v value so let's see first a question example actually so find the optimum strategy and value of the game for the given payoff matrix so i took a 2 cross 2 matrix so that we can directly use this odds method it can be directly used on a 2 cross 2 matrix that's why i've taken this small example Okay so let's use the odds method to solve this payoff matrix so for the first row we have to do 5 minus 2 so you cannot do 2 minus 5 because we have to ignore the sign okay so what you have to do is we have to take the larger value and subtract it from the smaller value so remember this so we have to do 5 minus 2 so 5 minus 2 and write it over here that is 3 similarly for the lower row we have to take the larger value so larger value is 3 and smaller value is -3 so we have to do 3 minus Minus three, so this is going to be plus, right? So it's going to be equal to six. Okay. Similarly, for the columns, what we have to do is we have to take three minus two. So three minus two, the value is going to be one. So we have to write it over here, right? In the crisscross pattern. Again, five minus minus three is going to be eight. So I'm directly going to write over here. So five minus minus three is going to be eight. Now you can see that six plus three and eight plus one, the total is going to be nine always, and it's always going to be equal. So if you add up these two and these two, the total is always going to be the same. So now what we just did is we just found out the oddments. Okay, so this is oddment for a one, this is oddment for a two, this is oddment for b two, and this is oddment for b one. So these are called oddments. Now we have to calculate individual probabilities. So obviously this is a mixed game because we do not have a saddle point, which means player a and player b are going to be using a one and a two with different probabilities, right? So we have to find out the probabilities, right? so probability of a using a1 is going to be equal to the oddment of a1 which is 6 divided by the total of these two oddments that is total of oddment a1 and a2 divided by 6 plus 3 so it's going to be 6 upon 6 plus 3 is 9 so this will be 2 by 3 similarly probability of a using a2 is going to be the oddment of a2 that is 3 upon again 6 plus 3 that is the total of oddments so it's going to be 3 upon 9 which is going to be 1 by 3 and you can also calculate it by using 1 minus a1 right so you can see probability of a2 is going to be 1 minus probability of a1 so even you can use that or you can use the formula now for player b probability of player b using b1 is going to be the oddment of b1 so b1's oddment is 8 the whole upon the total of the oddments of b1 and b2 that is 8 plus 1 so it's going to be 8 by 9 and then for probability of b using b2 you can see 
द ऑडमेंट ऑफ बी टू अपॉन द टोटल ऑडमेंट दैट इज एट प्लस वन सो अगेन वन बाय नाइन सो दिस इज द इंडिविजुअल प्रॉबलिटीज ऑफ द डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटेजीज यूज बाई प्लेयर ए एंड प्लेयर बी एंड द लास्ट थिंग दैट इज लेफ्ट आउट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम राइट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाई यूजिंग फोर डिफरेंट वेज आई एम जस्ट गॉट टॉक अबाउट वन एंड आई टेल यू अबाउट द अदर्स बट वील यूज वन सो वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन टेक द फर्स्ट रो टू एंड फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द कॉलम ऑर्डमेंट्स दैट इज टू इंटू एट प्लस फाइव इंटू वन द होल डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टोटल नाइन ओके सो द वैल्यू वी ऑफ द गेम कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाय टू इंटू एट दैट इज दिस वैल्यू इंटू इट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग ऑर्डमेंट दैट इज अ कॉलम ऑर्डमेंट सो वी आर टेकिंग अ रो एंड वी आर टेकिंग कॉलम ऑर्डमेंट्स सो टू इंटू एट प्लस फाइव इंटू वन द होल डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टोटल दैट इज नाइन सो दिस विल बी सिक्सटीन प्लस फाइव अपॉन नाइन विच इज गॉन बी ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन नाइन एंड यू कैन रिड्यूस इट मोर सो दैट इज सेवन अपॉन थ्री सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम सो दिस वॉज वन आउट ऑफ थ्री डिफरेंट फॉर्मुलाज विच यू कैन यूज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम सो लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू वॉट एल्स यू कैन डू सो यू कैन डू द सेम थिंग विद दिस एंटायर कॉलम यू कैन टेक दिस कॉलम एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट विद द रो ऑर्डमेंट्स सो यू कैन डू टू इंटू सिक्स प्लस थ्री इंटू थ्री अपॉन अगेन नाइन सो लेट मी जस्ट शो इट टू यू सो वी इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू सिक्स प्लस दिस थ्री इंटू थ्री होल अपॉन नाइन एंड अगेन यू कैन बी गेटिंग द सेम आंसर यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट सो यू गेट ट्वेल्व प्लस नाइन अपॉन नाइन सो दिस इज अगेन ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन नाइन सो अगेन अल्टीमेटली यू आर गेटिंग सेवन अपॉन थ्री अगेन यू कैन टेक दिस कॉलम एंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद द रो ऑर्डमेंट्स और यू कैन टेक दिस बॉटम रो एंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद द कॉलम ऑर्डमेंट्स सो फोर डिफरेंट वेज यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दम बट द वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज गॉन बी द सेम दैट इज सेवन बाई थ्री इन दिस केस ओके सो दिस वॉज द ऑर्ड्स मेथड विच कैन बी यूज फॉर एनी टू क्रॉस टू गेम विदाउट अ सैडल पॉइंट एंड आई फाइंड दिस मच मोर ईजियर कंपेयर टू एलजीब्राइक मेथड वेर इन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दोज फॉर्मुलाज इवन दैट इज ईजी इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर दैट सो यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ द टू फॉर्मुलाज सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज गिव इट अ थम्स अप डू शेयर इट विथ अर फ्रेंड्स एंड इफ हैव एंडेड सब्सक्राइब ऑन दिस चैनल मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब सो दट यू गेट नोटिफाइड वेन एवर आई अपलोड अ न्यू वीडियो सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज